And good morning, everybody. Lord have mercy. I hope everybody's having a good morning and y'all having a beautiful day out there. Oh, um, this is Sunday, ain't it? Yeah, good Sunday to everybody. I ain't sure what day it is. Um, working third shift, working, you know, 11 to 7, my nights gets messed up. And I've been working 12 hour shifts, so that makes it even worse on trying to keep up what day it is. Um, all right, y'all. Uh, Lord have mercy. Um, I got another review for y'all here today. Um, I don't know about this one, anything about it. It's called, well, Seraphim, Seraphim Black Garlic. The only Seraphims I know is mentioned in the Bible. Um, I don't know if this is hot or not. I have no idea. I have not tried it. As you can tell, there's still tape over the top of it up here. Let me get it down there so y'all can see. See, there's still tape over the top of it. I have kind of loosened it up. One of these sides here I loosened up so that y'all wouldn't have to wait for me uh, to take it all off. Try to get it off of there. But, uh, whew, yeah, we're going to try this today. Um, the black garlic. Um some people out there is wondering, what's black garlic? All black garlic is is just a roasted garlic. It's roasted till it turns black. And what that does, that brings out the sweetness and the flavor of the garlic. That is just, whoa. Yeah, buddy, you love it. I'll get her on to. Uh, let's see. Uh, the seraphim, I don't know what it is. I've never heard of a pepper called a seraphim, so I don't know. That was something Duke did. This is by, by Duke Iman. Um, I'll have his link. There we go. You saw me tear that off. Um, I don't have his link posted down below um, where y'all can go to it. Type it in and go to it. I don't know how to make it a link. Sorry. I'm a, com I, I, I'm a PC dummy when it comes to something like that. Uh, whoo -hoo, boy, I can smell that already. Just about all the salts have kind of a, 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 a smoky flavor to it. Not all of them, but most of them do. And I kind of like it. Look here, y'all. That black in there. Uh, I'm guessing, I ain't going to say assuming because we know, know, you know what assuming does. But I'm guessing that um, that black you see in there is the garlic. Um got a really good color to it really good smell to it kind of smells like it might be hot a little warm I don't know um, kind of gets to my nostrils a little bit when I smell it so I don't know I may not want to try this one not nah, you know I am all right y'all uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot see what it's like here see what this tastes like and get me a little bit, let y'all see it here. Ooh, that's too much. I don't want that much. Lord have mercy, that's way too much salt. Let's try this again. There we go. That's better. All right, you can see what I got here. Come on, camera. All right, this old cheap video camera I got ain't going to focus up like it should. All right, y'all, we're going to give this a try. Just see how it tastes. Mmm. First thing that hits you is the garlic. And then the salt comes in, the sea salt. He makes all his with sea salts. Um... No real heat to it. I'm gonna give it a minute see if some heat's gonna build. But there's right now there's no real heat to it, but the flavor is awesome. Um trying to think of what this would be good in. Uh with the garlic and all in it with the garlic flavor. I'd say a beef stew. Um, it, 
any kind of stew is pretty much, I think it'd be good and use that in place of your regular salt. You wouldn't even have to add no black pepper. You could add black pepper if you wanted to, just for the flavoring. Um, wow, that one kind of got me stumped as to what to use it in, really. Uh, I said there's no real heat. It doesn't really. I can tell there's a little heat there. I get a little heat right here, back of my throat, a um, little bit on the tip of my tongue, but it doesn't really. I mean, on a scale of one to ten, this is what it's doing. It's just barely moving my needle, um, just kind of making it jiggle like this. That's all. It's not really hot. Um, Lord, you could use that for just about anything, I believe. Anything that you want to put a garlic in, uh, you can use that in. Uh, like I said, a beef stew, uh, chickens, chicken stew. Uh, Lord, like I said, whatever you use garlic, use for garlic. This this would be real good in. This would this would this would definitely up the flavor. As Emerald, Emerald Lagasse used to say, it would kick it up a notch. Uh, this is real good. I love the flavor of this. Ooh, I can't wait to try it in um, a food. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, it'd probably be good to mix in with a barbecue sauce. If you like a garlicky barbecue sauce, that would be good in that. Oh, Lord. Oh, pot roast. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And a pot roast, that would be excellent. This stuff here would be excellent in the pot roast. It'd take place of your, your garlic. You wouldn't have to buy your garlic. You would just put some of that in there. and That'd take care of that garlic flavor for you. All right, everybody. Um, yeah, the burn's staying about the same, just the needles just kind of going tick, 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 a little bit. Um, makes me want to get some more root, but I ain't going to do it right now because I don't need that much salt. But, uh, like that anyway, straight up like that. But everybody, y'all have a good day. Take care. Y'all be safe over this holiday weekend. Um, if you're traveling, really, really be careful. Be safe. Watch the other people around you. I know you don't worry about your job and watch the other people around you. Um, take care, everybody. Have a good day and a safe holiday. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll see y'all next go around. Bye-bye.